Hey, what is up everybody? My name is Zarius and welcome to another Minecraft vehicle tutorial. Today's tutorial is going to be like an Australian farmer's ute or a farmer's truck. Good enough for the farms. As you see, it's got like the CB radios because that's what they love, CB radios. And uh, yeah, it's pretty awesome. So this is what we're going to build and I'm building this in my texture pack now today, but I will teach you what blocks to go for. So what you want to do is grab yourself a coal block you want to grab yourself some stone brick slabs, a choice of color. I'm just going to go with a normal standard, like a white and gray color. Uh, stone slabs. Yeah, we got stone brick stairs, and we also need stone bricks. Well, we should use slabs, I guess. Okay. Um, we need some iron bars. We need some trap doors, and uh, we need some of these gray banners. And I think we can get started on that. Actually, we need let me just grab a block of iron as well. There we go. Okay. First blocks down, one and two. Putting a slab directly in the middle. Then we're going to leave a five space gap. One, two, three, four, five. And on the sixth block, we're just going to place our tires down like so. Okay. Now, the next thing you can do, if you don't want something, I'm going to give you a little tip here. If you don't want slabs or anything in between, okay, I come up with something awesome, okay? And we need some end rods. Just pop your end rods in the back there, and there's your axle, okay? If you if you want an axle, you don't have to, but I think it looks it gives it a bit more um, realism to the actual build. So if you've got end rods and you can use them, put them in there, and they'll look really cool as well. But on this build, we're not going to use axles. I hope you guys like my little axle idea. I hope you do. Anyway, moving right along. We're going to put our slab there. And we're going to run our slab all the way right through the center as sort of our base of the vehicle. So you've got something that looks like that. Okay, sweet. On top of the slab here, we're going to place our iron block. And from this point, I'm going to get rid of that. And we are going to go and grab ourselves a fence gate. I'm going to use Acacia because it's black for me but you can use any fence gate you want. And you can actually open it here. You can open them all up. It's entirely up to you. I'm just going to leave mine bare like that. That's just going to be like a big mud guard sort of thing. From here, we are going to grab our stone bricks and we're going to turn them upside down just like that. Beautiful stuff. From this point, we are just going to grab our colored wool and we're going to come back by three. One, two, and three. One, two, and three. And on here, we're going to bring it up by one and over by one and knock that out. So it's just resting on the corner, just like that. Okay. From here, we're going to grab our stone bricks and we're going to turn them up upside down. And then we're going to come out by one, two, three, and four. So we've got a nice big overhang by two blocks on the end, just like that. With your your slabs we're just going to close that off just like that so it's all closed off neat and tidy with our banners we're going to drop them on all the tires and if you have a look at a couple of pictures i might just put one on screen now for you you'll see with all the dust and stuff like that in the farm and the outback and stuff they always use big mud flaps just like that right yo now that we've got that we're going to go with our trap doors and we're going to place one on the back here and we're going to place one right here like that okay one behind the banner so one here and one on the tire just like that beautiful 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 next thing we do is just going to close this off bring it up grab another iron block and place that in the middle like so then a colored block there so you've just got one little opening for yourself to sit in and grab yourself a item frame and we're also going to grab a steering wheel, which we'll grab that now. Pop our item frame in, steering wheel, beautiful, just like that. Okay. Now what you want to do is you want to grab some glass blocks. And you want to place them one, two, three, four, and five. So it's all off and closed, just like so. And then with your iron bars, uh, sorry, your iron trap doors, you're just going to place them one, two, and three, just like that. Okay, sweet. 
Now there is an option you can do if you don't want to do this. You can actually grab yourself a light gray pane of glass, pull them out and just run that across like so. Makes it look more of like a dirty windscreen with the windshield wipers and stuff. From here, what we're going to do is we'll just go and grab some carpet and we're going to run that here on the front on the sides and we're just going to place that directly on the glass like so. And then trap door here. This is another way of doing it. Okay. Item frames, one and two for the spotlights. One on the front here and the other side. And all the way down the back, you're going to place one here and one here. Beautiful. As you can see, it's starting to form really nicely. Okay, iron bars on the iron block at the front. Bring that out by one either side. And then just grab yourself any kind of block and just put that as the lights here and up the top also. Beautiful. Just like that. Okay, now we need our trap doors. We're going to place one, two on the front. It's just going to give it some sort of kind of metal kind of effect. And then what we're going to do is just grab some signs and we're going to use some buttons. Buttons on the front. That's sort of like some indicator or badge symbol. And we're going to grab a sign. Just place that here. I'm also going to place them all around the back for the tray at the back. Like so. On the lights in the middle, right round the tray. Da -da -da. Beautiful. Loving it. And it's right here. Now we can grab ourselves a lever and press that underneath the side of the window, just like that. And then just grab that kind of pane of glass and stick it to the side. Beautiful. Next step. We need our button again. I'm just going to stick that to the side, like so. Now in here, we can actually just cover that off with normal color wool, like that. And then come out either side with your iron bars and just bring the edges up by two. So one, two, just like that. So you've got your big aerial. On the front here, on the corner, you want to do the same again. One and two. And two. There we go. From this bit, we're going to go right down to the back again, and we're just going to pop in our lights. So we're just going to go and grab some normal red wool. Pop our red wool in here, like so, and you can twist them around if you want. It's up to you. I'll do mine twisted. Why not? Now, what we need to do is grab our iron trap doors, and I'm just going to dig down a second, look up underneath, place them like so, right around. Close that back off, and we've got ourselves a little tray popping out the side. Okay, I don't think that will fit. No, it doesn't. We can do the same again on here one and two, so it's all connected. Or you can take these out and replace that with normal slabs, which gives it a better effect anyway. So that's what we're going to do one and two. Okay, now on the top here. If you wanted to grab any kind of block, I'm just going to use some normal hay. Slap that on there like so, and then grab yourself some rails. Now, these rails are in a number of texture packs. I think I saw uh, a few people got that, so I did the same. Just put armor on there, which these will be changed in color very shortly to make it look like more of a leather strap. So it looks like there's going to be some strapping and stuff. And that is it. That is the vehicle. That is the Farmer's Ute. I hope you guys enjoyed it. And then you can tart it up by, you know, add a couple of blocks around. Like so. And, uh, yeah, that is it. You can even actually go as far as putting a number plate on as well if you really desire. Which will be just dropping down like so. I'm not too keen on it because it just doesn't look like it's connected to anything, but you guys might might do it. And one more thing, take out the middle if you don't want that, and also just put that down as a... Where is it? Where's the block? Is it down here? Yeah. Grab that and put a 
cobblestone wall so it looks like it's all connected in. But that is it. That is it, ladies and gentlemen. I hope you enjoyed this vehicle tutorial. If you did, be sure to leave that like, place a comment down below, stick around, and we shall do some more vehicle tutorials. Thanks for watching, guys. I'll see you on the next one. Hey.